Hi guys, this is Delta Victor to Juliet Bravo. My name is Jarwin. So, just a little update on another addition on my shock. So, this is the ICW32A that I got it from a friend. Uh, I am not sure at first where it came from, but upon uh, powering it on, I noticed that when I look at the memory channel, I see Vector Echo 3 station, Vector Echo 7 station, so I figured this radio came from Australia. So probably this ICW32A is a good version, uh, meaning to say, if I say good version, uh, because there are new uh, version which came uh, which came up or i mean released by uh, icom that w that cannot do mode j when i say mode j for example so50 satellite uh, when you transmit on bhf while listening on the downlink uhf basically some version of w32a will descend it means to say while transmitting on the uplink you cannot hear yourself uh, yourself on the UHF so that is full duplex right some other version can do uh, full duplex so uh, I've read from the internet from Paul November 8 Hotel Mike I mentioned that the only way to confirm that if your W32A can do mode J is not by looking at the serial number that's not that that's not the correct uh, way to confirm if if your radio can can do mode j fall uh, november 8 hotel mike mentioned that in order for you to do that you just have to press the ban and the squelch then turn the radio on then after turning it on go to uh, the bfo1 and cycle on the ban so this is 440 and 800 so this 800 uh, band will appear after doing that so just to conf ju it's just a, a way of confirming that this radio can receive on 800 megahertz this particular version w32a uh, which can receive on 800 megahertz meaning to say this version can do mode j so i was very happy when i discovered that it has 800 uh, megahertz on the receive so thank you Paul for uh, doing that and I mean uh, seeing that over the internet so uh, I already up I, I'm I was happy because uh, this one is a good version so confirming like probably it probably came from Australia one another problem that uh, I encountered from here from uh, from this radio is that uh, when I transmit on 440 this radio will allow me to transmit on 440 but going below 440 like probably uh, uh, probably 440 going down for 39 something uh, this radio if I transmit it says here off meaning to say it doesn't allow me to transmit uh, below the 440 band so I thought this particular radio uh, would, wouldn't allow me to transmit on 430 band so I searched again the internet looking for any mode available for this particular radio and I found out a Mars mode uh, yeah basically Mars mode you know this radio will allow you to transmit on those bands that are not allowed so basically this radio came from australia probably on 1996 uh, their amateur band plan uh, amateur operators are not allowed to transmit on 430 band but right now it's already 2020 so i need to way to uh, mode this radio so let me turn this off because i already i already did the mars mode basically uh, let me show you how and how you how to do that. So of it, remove the battery compartment and remove the six screw one two three four and there another here and another here. So there com uh, total of six screw. Now uh, you you just have to pry this one this silver chrome plated metal here. Uh, after removing that, uh, so. As you notice on the board on the radio, it's very clean. You know, probably this radio has been well taken care of. So, you, 
this is the uh, we need to pay attention on this area here so when I got this radio when I opened it up it has three uh, three legged diode one here one two and three but you, you cannot already see the third diode here because that's the Mars mode and that diode is here yeah I already removed the uh, diode so that's the diode that I removed from here so that's the D523 it, it, it was located some some here on this exam uh, on this exact X spot so you just have to use at hair soldering or you know exacto knife whatever means that you can uh, remove this uh, uh, that diode so it's very small diode so be careful touch uh, in touching those other component beside it so I've used at hair soldering so I just tape a cap tone tape uh, around this one and only exposing this area and I blow hot hair onto it and then I just remove that particular diode uh, fortunately uh, I managed to uh, get the actual diode that I pulled out from the board so let me show you the Mars mode now so I'm going to just put this plate here for now without screwing the putting the screws so let me turn it on and yeah as you can see here before uh, what I was telling you is that you can only transmit on 440 but on 439 I cannot transmit but now see I can now transmit and I can even transmit at 470 band see this one yeah 470 so yeah I'm already happy about that mode because basically uh, if I did not do this Mars mode and I cannot transmit on f below 440 bands because as you as you all know for uh, AO91 AO92 satellites their uplink is below 440 band so it's 435 25 or probably one for uh, no 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 uh, 435 350 uh, for the AO92 so now I can transmit right then listening on the downlink simultaneously but uh, on full duplex you have to insert a mic uh, headphone here or a speaker or some some sort that will that will pre prevent feedback coming from the speaker to your mic because basically if 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 your work if you work on uh, satellite full duplex while transmitting on transmitting on UHF you will hear yourself on the downlink simultaneously like you're hearing yourself speaking but that means to say it's a confirmation that you're getting into the satellite perfectly so now i can do mode b uh, uhf transmit bhf receive and i can even do uh, 145825 probably and the other is in for 367954 so yeah though uh those are my few little updates uh, best regard 73 this is delta victor to juliet bravo thank you